Welcome back to another episode of Moto GP Mac, and today we're going to talk about Carmelo Espeleta talking about the 2027 regulations and where things are right now. He said, we are discussing the technical and sporting regulations for the 2027 season on. In Doha, there will be a meeting with all the manufacturers. They have made us a proposal and we have responded with another proposal, a little bit different than the one that they have provided. Now, they have to tell us what they think of our proposal. We are quite close and most of them already like what we have proposed. We expect the engines will be different, but we have no intention of making changes for the next two years. The manufacturers will start working now for 2027 and in 2025 and 2026, the rules will be the same as now. I believe very soon we will come to an agreement which will be announced during the season, he said. Now, we know MotoGP is moving towards downsizing from a technical point of view of where they are now. Dorna, the organizer of the championship, and the manufacturers have been discussing for some time how to reduce performance of the top premier prototype class. The major range of reductions that they've been talking about are displacement going down to even 850cc, the elimination of ride height devices, the limitations of aerodynamics, all from 2027. Everything is on the table to be looked at. And I suppose for some people, it is quite a worry. For others, you know, it may bring a sigh of relief that some of the things that were there, um, I suppose, are being looked at from a, a different point of view. And I do think it is good that Dorna have made a proposal, the teams have made a proposal, and now realistically in Doha, uh, and probably over the next few weeks and months, they are going to battle it out to see where exactly the ball is going to land. But if it was for you, and you were to decide the regulations for 2027, what would the top three things that you would want to have or want to get rid of in the sport? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.